Hello, everyone. Welcome to this special edition of the Belmont Journal, Belmont's own local program for hyperlocal news and community affairs programming. I'm your host, Roger Colton. Belmont has not escaped the grips of the coronavirus, but as schools close, as the Bel uh, Belmont community facilities close, as restaurants close, a community-based network has uh, arisen in Belmont. And we're joined tonight by two Belmont residents. I'm joined by Amy Kirsch and Shanna Wang, who are with Fast Help Belmont. Thanks for joining us uh, uh, online tonight, Amy and uh, Shanna. Hi. Uh, what uh, I'd like to do is to start out and have you explain what Fast Help Belmont is. Um, we actually, we did change it. It's actually Belmont, Massachusetts helps out. Um, we saw a need with the coronavirus virus coming in and we decided that we were going to need volunteers for people that were in quarantine or self-quarantine or home with little ones or seniors that can't get out. And so we put a call for help. Um, we, I asked Shauna to be my forms admin and we created this page to help bring volunteers in and to help out neighbors and let's go through some of the uh, so things we, that that you're volunteering with uh, the the first thing that I remember is that people can volunteer to help make deliveries of groceries or medicines uh, can you expand on that we're happy to do any porch drop-offs so we're, we're keeping people safe we want to make sure that we're not putting anyone at risk uh, but if someone needs a meal or someone needs uh, something picked up at a grocery store and someone's already going, um, we have a whole list of people that are willing to help. We can also help people with translations. Um, we've had people volunteer to help for mental health. We've had people volunteer to help with music. Um, so we have lots of different volunteers in town that are willing to help with various needs. Shana, one of the things um, that are driving people nuts let's uh let's say that up front is the fact that the schools are closed uh, uh, has this volunteer effort in belmont been directed toward helping parents navigate this period that we're going to face where the kids are at home yeah um i i think that i'm sorry can you your question is whether or not it will help them navigate this period yes. Are there services uh, or uh, uh, information that's being provided to help parents uh, uh, learn how to how to handle their kids at home? So I know that I don't know if that's the that right way to the, put it, but right, right. I know that through the Belmont Parents Family Group, there have been a lot of um, resources that have been posted by many other community members um, with regards to how to um, entertain their kids anywhere from very young through like teenagers. And so um, the purpose of Belmont Helps is really to help those who are um, either a self -quarantine, under self-quarantine or those who are immunocompromised and can't get out and about. Um, and it's, um, those so are mainly the two different um, demographics that we're trying to serve right now. Amy? We have two different resources that we've created. So there's the Belmont Helps Out, where we have 124 volunteers at the ready. But we've also created a resource list. And that resource list has the latest news and the latest um, uh, numbers of people that are infected with COVID-19. And it also has a whole slew of the business links, what's, what's delivering in Belmont. It has online learning um, for your kids in all different age levels. So there's two different things that we created. Um, and the Belmont Parents Group is the third thing, which is our group where this all sprang out from, which is on Facebook. So it, it seems to me that there are two important and critical pieces of information that we need to get out to people. Number one is if somebody wants to participate as a volunteer, what do they do? Where do they go? So the first thing they could do is go to tinyurl.com slash fasthelp 
Belmont. That's tinyurl.com slash fasthelpbelmont. And there is a... And if you click on that link... And, and there's uh, a, a form there to fill out or a place to... I'm sorry, that's the resource sheet. Okay. That, but that's okay, it's on the resource sheet, but we'll, we'll go to the tiny, we'll go to the actual volunteer sheet, which is tinyurl.com BMPG for Belmont, Massachusetts Parents Helps, or Parent Help Group Help, sorry. tinyurl.com slash BMPG Helps. Okay, so that's the, uh, the way for people to volunteer. The as well as people to request help. So the same form serves both um, those who are who are signing up to volunteer as well as those who are requesting for help. Okay, and that was the second question was, if somebody needs or wants help, they don't make a phone call. They go to uh, this website and uh, express a need for assistance of some sort. We've also outreached to the senior centers and we've outreached to other people. So they do have a phone number to call if someone needs help, not online as well. Um, okay. They, they can call 617-306-9279 um, if they are not online. And this is a, a volunteer uh, network or a volunteer group. Has the town been working with you or have you been working with the so town? We started this without the town, um, but since it's grown to so many people and we've seen so much need that's going to come, we have also um, outreach to the selectmen and let them know that this is here and outreach to various um, places that might need this, like the food banks. I, I wanted to ask a question and, and tell me if this is going down exactly the wrong uh, direction, but uh, I don't have a young kid anymore. I, my kid's 27 and has been out of uh, the, the house for years and years. But um, if you have kids and you're not set up with a supply of books or a supply of games, is there book sharing or toy sharing or game sharing? Or is that just a way, is that discouraged as being a way to spread the virus rather than so we help. knew more about it now than we did i we've always shared toys and always encouraged people to share their books and things um the virus does stick to surfaces for nine hours they say possibly more in some surfaces which is why the stores are closing and why the restaurants are closing sure so for porch deliveries i mean we <laughs> We'll, we'll do it with the best of caution we can. We'll recommend that people take whatever they can, wipe it down with a wipe if they have one or disinfectant. Um, but it's also just, we got to have a leap of faith too. People are going to need entertainment for their kids at home. So we'll do the best we can and with the least amount of harm possible. <laughs> <laughs> Shauna, I, I'd like to come back to you for a minute. Uh, this is being done th uh, basically through the Belmont Parents uh, uh, group, but my impression is that people should be very aware of the fact that it's not simply families that, uh, that you're trying to reach. You're trying to reach families with kids, you're trying to reach older uh, folks, I and mean, it is the broader community. Uh, can you react to that? Uh, am I right or wrong? Tell me if I'm wrong. That is right. Um, I think initially we had started um, this, this list um, in order to serve those people who are, um, who are first either have been exposed and need to be quarantined and can't get out of the house um, and have no other way to to leave the house, um, except with um, help of friends. Um, but then later we realized that there's also another demographic who are um, of, um, immunocompromised or um, seniors who um, it's probably better for them to stay at home. And so as, um, as we realize more and more um, populations in need, um, the I guess the list of those we would like to help uh, got broader and broader. 
And I, I'd like to go a little different direction for a moment too, because when I first started following this, my initial inclination was to think of the deliveries, to try to bring things to people who couldn't or wouldn't go out of their house. But it seems like another important service that I'm seeing being delivered is emotional support. Uh, people who uh, just need to, to talk to somebody, you know, they, they're scared, they're confused, and there is a need for emotional support. I, am I right or wrong on that? That is right. Yeah, we Either did. one of you, go ahead. So we, we did include that as one of, one of the needs that um, volunteers can, can assist with and um, those who are requesting help can, can request. Um, but I think so far we haven't had anyone, um, anyone request for that need. Um, I'm sure as, as the weeks of the lockdown gets longer and longer, <laughs> Um, yes, we may begin to to hear from people. And if you go to the resource sheet, uh, there's also a whole slew of lines for hotlines, uh, not just for COVID-19, but for mental health as well, that are professional mental health hotlines. And let's again bring up uh, what that URL is, uh, because this works only if people can get to it, uh, right? So can you tell us again? Yes, absolutely. It is tinyurl.com slash fast help Belmont. Tinyurl.com slash fast help Belmont. Okay. Another aspect of the emotional support uh, being a parent uh, um, myself, even though a parent of a 27 year old, is uh, the need to explain to kids. What's going on? Uh, is there that, you know, mom, why can't I go to the playground? Or mom, why can't I get to get mom, dad? I don't want to put it all on moms, but mom, dad, why, uh, why can't I get together with, uh, with my friends? Uh, is that a service or an assistance that people can gain? Again, on the resource sheet, we have a whole slew of educational resources at the bottom as well and there's cartoons to explain COVID-19 to your kids there's fact sheets there's um different resources for entertainment and learning online learning and sing-alongs so lots of things for kids of all ages and ways to explain the virus one thing uh shauna i'm going to come back to you again uh, one thing that I want to make sure to do uh, is to give a shout out to Belmont High School. Uh, my impression is that there is a group of Belmont High kids that have aggressively, enthusiastically, I, I don't know what the word is, but that have become a big part uh, of this. Can you tell us about that? We haven't worked with them yet, but I did put them on the resource sheet. Um, and they are volunteering to do um, lots of work as well. So we have a lot of volunteers that have signed up with us, but they also have their own, which I could give you the URL for. It's on the fact sheet. Okay. And that is being run by, if I could get to it, my computer's being slow. Going by Belmont High School Students Help. And if you're interested in that, you could call six, or you could text, sorry, 617-818-3149 or email hpierce20 at belmontschools.net. Okay. But many of them are also signing up at the Belmont, Massachusetts Parents Help List, which is tinyurl.com slash bmpghelps. Thank you very much, uh, uh, you two, and thanks for doing this. You've been watching a special edition of the Belmont Journal. The Belmont Journal will not be providing weekly news shows while the Belmont Media Center is closed down. We will be contacting people online as we have tonight, and we will be bringing you information as we get it, and we'll put it on the Belmont Media television stations. We'll stream it on the Belmont Media website at belmontmedia.org. 
Thanks for watching. I'm your host, Roger Colton. I will see you again next time.